Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm, uh, I'm here with the Tornado Wars 2 official update video, because it's very official. Um, we were very, very wrong to try to release Tornado Wars back in October, because we didn't, I guess, I don't know. I don't think we realized how much work and preparation had to be put into this project before we could actually release it to you all on a stable stable stage for it to happen on like there is a lot of behind the scenes work that we've had to do um there's the world size and the world size the game mode we're on the difficulty the server the plugins the mods drafting the players we had like 90 applications um we had to do a lot of work and i mean the thing is, it'd be great if we were all full-time YouTubers and had all day to work on it, yet we'd be done in two days and have it out that weekend. But instead, it took over three weeks for us to do all of the work and make sure that we could have the video out. I mean, make sure that we could have Tornado Wars 2 out on a scale that would be a very enjoyable series for you all. Now, just on that apology for releasing it late, um... I will not release an official date for Tornado Wars 2 to come out, but I will tell you it's most likely going to occur either this Friday, this Saturday, or next sa Friday, or next Saturday. I mean, at most two weeks at this point, but I'm pretty sure it's going to occur this weekend as long as we can get all the members there, or at least 90% of the members there. So yeah, as long as that can happen, it will most likely happen this weekend. Okay, so now, yeah. That's when Tornado Wars is going to come out. Some specifications about Tornado Wars. Um, right now we're going to use Townie as the plug-in. Um, we are going to... Townie for the plug-in. The world size is probably going to be about 5,000 by 5,000. Like a little square there. Uh, the reason for that is, like I said, we had 90 applications. We're going to buy a like 30-slot server. Um... I'm hoping all 90 of you won't log on at the same time, because if that does, that'll be a nightmare. And, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you all are not going to work in that way to give me headaches. But, yeah, um, we're probably going to buy a server, probably like 2 gigs, 3 gigs. Um, and in order for us to be able to do that and to not make us go broke over the series, um, we limited the world size, size so that the server wouldn't lag as much. Um, also... I mean, honestly, would it be very fun if we have one Empire, 19,000 on the X and 17,000 on the Z, and then another Empire at negative 25,000 on the X and 100 on the Z? No, that wouldn't be very fun. So if we limit the world size, um, it'll make sure that the series doesn't take three years to finish. <laughs> Hopefully this will be a se couple, few month series. Um... Holidays are coming up and all that, so we're going to have a, just, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff there. Um, we're going to have a 30-day grace period in real life. Um, the reason for this is I don't want us to be fighting with sticks and stones against each other. And by that, I mean I want us to be stable. I want every empire to be able to have a stable infrastructure so that basically it's not over in two days after we release um after we release the grace period off because if it was over in two days that would be a really sucky series so i mean of course we got the challenge of having the tornado mod in the series but we also have the challenge of pvping each other so unlike tornado survival there's actually two separate factors being thrown at you and then yeah it just really adds to the challenge of it so a 30 day grace period to make sure that we can set up let teams strategize and let teams strategize get their walls built get their town built have separate jobs for each of you all civilians to do train you all have tell you all what to do make the army strong gather supplies i mean there's a lot that can trust me it's not going to be a boring 30 day grace period because it's not like there's going to be 30 videos during that grace period. Now there's going to be like, what, 10 videos maybe? That, that'd be pushing it. <laughs> I mean, a video a week, 7, 14, 21, 28, that's four. If you get two out a week, that's 
like eight videos of you just preparing with your team. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I think a 30 grace, 30 day grace period would be excellent in order for us to be able to have a very, very organized season here. Um, next up on the list here is um, uh, the draft has been completed. Um, as you can know, as you may be able to notice, I am a very, very lazy person at heart. When it comes to doing YouTube, you may not know this or not, but I struggle with getting a video out from time to time, putting effort in editing the videos from time to time. So, um, we recorded the draft, um, <laughs> and Nate did all the editing <laughs> for it. So, yeah, Nate did a really good draft selection video. He put in a little chart thing that shows your names popping up on it. So, I'm going to leave a link to Nate's vi the draft video in the description. You can go over there and find out who you were drafted for. Um, and then, of course, like, you can find out right now who you are drafted to, but at the same time, each team will be sending out emails to explain whose team you're on, um, what what each team requires for you. I mean, my email is going to be different for Nate's team's email, and my, Nate's team's email is going to be different for Shooter Birdie's email. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you read the emails that we send you. Okay, um, another thing is we have compiled a list of mods that you are going to be required to download. I will have a link to all of them in the description, but you need to make sure that you download and install each of these mods in order for you to be able to play on Tornado Wars 2. So like I said, very and very important part of this video right here is make sure that you go down below and download each of these mods and have them installed for Tornado Wars 2 because if you don't, you will not be able to get onto the server. You'll receive an error saying you can't log on. Now, on with the list of mods. Localized weather mod. Sync mod. Um, that mod is basically for... It's We're going to have everyone on hardcore mode and you can basically build an extra life for yourself. So if you die, you spawn back into that other body that you built. So it's hardcore mode, but you still have a backup plan just in case you die, if you have built that clone. Next we have Flans mod, um, modern weapons pack. No planes, we don't want us bombing each other and then having the series end in two days, like I said. So this will just be guns to shoot at each other. Um, and so instead of just bow and long range, we'll have guns shooting at each other. Pew, 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 pew. Um, next up is the Archimedes ship mod. Um, you may have seen that in my S Tornado Survival series. Um, they're saying, really, Tanner? No planes, but we get the ship mod. This is for surveillance. So, say you want to go scout out the other team, <laughs> but you don't want to walk up to their base and be like, oh, yeah, this is... and then get killed. No. So, with the ship mod, we can basically fly over from a very safe height and be like, oh yeah, well, we can attack from the left side, have some guys flank around, have some guys attack the right wall that's a little shorter than the others. Either way, it's for it's for surveillance, basically. <laughs> the Archimedes ship mod doesn't come with any bombs you can drop, it's just surveillance, so yeah. Next up is, oh, and on the ship mod, I believe you can shoot the person with a rifle if they're in it, so you gotta be careful when using that. Next up is the Zombie Awareness mod, and this is basically just smarter AI for the zombies. This is another Koros mod. They can they can track you down easier, kill you. It just adds to the challenge of it all. Um, if you aren't a skilled Minecraft player, this series will be difficult for you to stay alive in. There's PvP, there's Tornadoes, there's smarter AI, it's on hardcore mode. Sure, you've got the ability to build an extra life, but, I mean, trust me, it's going to be difficult for you to stay alive in this, so I'd make sure that you are very, very careful when you first log in, because if you die, I don't want to hear it in the comments, Tanner, I died, can you, can you unban me and let me play again, please? No, it's not going to happen, that's your fault, get over it. Be careful, be smart when you play this mod, and when you play in this series. Um, you died, you die. <laughs> and, you gotta understand, I'm just going to put this disclaimer right here on the die, you die thing. Each town's going to have their set of rules, or each empire is going to have their own set of rules. Each empire is going to rule the way they want to rule. 
if they decide that they want to execute you, it is purely for the purpose of entertainment and content. Um, it's all about the role play here, okay? A lot of people are going to role play this. And if you are executed, you're just going to have to get over it <laughs> and move on um, and enjoy the series because, honestly, it's all entertainment. There's no hard feelings if, they, if you're killed by your owners in the Empire. Um, so if you kill someone else that is that belongs to your empire, I'm sure that you will be executed. <laughs> it's just how it works. So yeah, just putting that out there. Next is the following meteor, falling meteor mod. So yeah, we have meteors. That's self-explanatory right there. Meteors falling from the sky. Next is meteor craft mod, which kind of goes along with the falling meteor mod, just meteors. <laughs> um, after that is the streams mod, and what this mod does is it basically turns rivers into rivers instead of just a steady water source they act rivers actually flow and with this mod in so it's just a cool s side effect um next is the real world real world generation mod um this one helps with the rivers any of this might be changed anyone any of this is subject to change i'm sorry if it is so yeah there's that Sorry about my voice today. I'm a little stuffed up. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze there. Hopefully, I'll remember to edit that out. 11.40, 11.30, around there. So, yeah, there's the list of mods. Like I said, you have to have these installed or you're not going to be able to get onto the server. And I'm not going to help you install these. You have to be responsible enough to do it on your own. Um, this series is going to require you all to be mature. I'm hoping that you all can handle this. If not, this is going to be a huge disaster. So please find deep down a way to do what I ask. <laughs> if not, the series is going to be a huge failure. Either way, that's just how it is. So um, I think that's it. Uh, server release date, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said, the teams are me and Cookie, Nate and Chaz, and Shooter Birdie. Um, those are the three teams. 30 day grace period, hardcore mode, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, I'm going to leave a donation link down below just because we, it, uh, a lot of people applied more than we thought. <laughs> and the server is going to be costly to pay for a server that will host that many people. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if you feel like donating any at all, you can. You're not obligated to donate. Um, it's only if you feel the need to help. But other than that, don't donate. So, yeah. Oh, and if you're not financially available, to don't donate. But, yeah, I um, think that's going to wrap it up for this Tornado Wars 2 update video. I will have more information on the release date of it. Um, more information on just anything else that changes between now and the release of Tornado Wars 2. Like I said, emails will be coming out from each team. Go over to Nate's channel to look at the draft video. And that's it from here. That's it for me. Um, see you all later. Bye.